Welcome to Nets of Hope. This is Cindy, and I want to say hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome, America, to the Nets of Hope YouTube channel. I've had a lot going on since I made the last videos. I have done a lot of praying. I have done a lot of researching. And this is just to sum it up, because I don't have a lot of time to drag out a bunch of videos. But I found that there was a problem with the Hebrew calendar as I was reading the scripture of Exodus 12. I kept praying and praying and praying, and I'm sorry I didn't make any videos. I had to just keep praying. I was seeking answers. I got the answer today from another sister in Christ that did a video and the Lord gave her the answer that his calendars have been messed with because I kept wondering it just it's not all fitting I went and researched the Hebrew calendar and found out that the month of Elul which is September I Jonathan Kahn is a Jewish man and <laughs> He has said before that the month of Elul was the first month of the year. I couldn't find New Year's on the Hebrew calendar. I couldn't find New Year's Day. I found it in the Bible that it said that um, the New Year is the month of Abib. But I found that there to be a problem there if the New Year is the month of Abib. Where is the month of Abib on the calendar for this year for the Hebrew calendar? I only could find one event listed on the month of Abib, and the Passover is supposed to be in the month of Abib because according to Scripture, that was what was telling us that the Lord was going to call that their new year. And so things were not lining up. I went into heavy prayer. Uh, I've been in prayer. I've had some internet problems at home. And um, I just, I was in awe because uh, things were not matching up until today I understood. And I just kept asking the Lord and asking the Lord to give me dreams and line up the English calendar of September and the calendar of Elul, I, but I kept asking him, Lord, how come the month of Abib doesn't have your Passover listed on it for the Hebrew calendar? And I searched many different Hebrew calendars, and I couldn't find the month of Abib listed. The Passover is in the month of Nisan. And that doesn't make any sense because the Lord showed me that this war was coming this year and I've been waiting on it for years. I've been waiting on it. He has showed me visions, showed me my job would end and that my fingerprint would not work on the time clock anymore. I would no longer be in the world system matrix when this 9-11 event comes forth. I did not know that I would be taken during the three days of darkness. I thought I was going to be taken in the rapture along with the rest of the church. The rapture of the three days of darkness is a secret rapture unto the Lord, and he will be taking his children and the 144,000 warriors of light that have been living here as human beings, and I'm one of them. That seems far-fetched, seems crazy to many of you that are not Christians, and I understand that it makes it seem like I've been smoking a real powerful drug, but I'm just telling you, the Lord Jesus Christ came from heaven, and he was born into his mother's womb through the power of God and the Holy Spirit. God the Father also has the power to bring forth warriors of light from heaven and have us to be born chosen 
by God an earthly mom and dad for us to be um, them to be the host to bring me into this world, my spirit into her womb. And so here I am. I've been a human being just like everybody else, but I knew that there was something different about me from childhood till now. I have had dreams of being able to fly. I've not understood that uh, until these past few years since um, 2018. Uh, the Lord has placed more and more and more people on my path to help me understand who I am. And then he's identified in dreams and visions. Uh, and he gave me a vision just a couple of nights ago and reminded me in the midst of the darkness that I'm 144. He sent me a vision with the number 144 lit up in bright white, white, white light. So he was reminding me, that's who I am. Now then, I'm going to try and make these videos short so that I can upload them super fast. And I've got some information on each one of them that I encourage you to listen to them and just meditate on the words of what's being said. This three days of darkness has to come before the war hits of 9-11. It's another 9-11 war that they're going to bring about. So this next week's not going to be a good week. Now, if the three days of darkness starts tonight, I'm not saying that it is, but I'm saying you, the church, need to be on alert that it's about to happen. The heavenly objects that I talked to you about, um, they have now become in a triangular form. And I've had dreams in the past of them being very, very close to Earth and huge, huge, almighty-sized planets um, in the size of a triangular formation with the comet at the head of the triangle and the planet Nemesis and a moon uh, on in within the triangle. A huge moon. A moon the size of a planet size moon. Okay? So, anyway, please listen to these videos. I'm going to end this one for now and start another one right quick and try and get as much as I can of the word out as if the three days of darkness is going to start tonight not on. Uh, I re-researched that and the three days of darkness is not going to be on the 10th through the 14th. It wasn't on the end of August. It's going to be prior to 9-11 because that was a word that was given to Vicki uh, on um, dreams and prophecy. Uh, Prophetic Dreams and Visions YouTube channel. Uh, her name is Vicki Goforth Parnell. And she was given a, a, a powerful word about the 144,000 leaving in the three days of darkness along with all the children upon the earth um, that God will be taking at that time. So anyway, I'm going to end this video for now and then start another one and try to explain some things. I love you. Peace out for now. Please come to the next video as soon as it's uploaded. I'm going to upload them as fast as I can uh, and get back to my family this evening. Um, I'm going to try and do some very, very short videos if the three days of darkness starts up until the time the Lord takes me. But I'm also going to be trying to minister to my family. But I'm going to try. But I don't know how successful I'm going to be because I can't leave the house and I've got internet problems. So, but I'm going to try during the three days of darkness to at least give it a chance. And I may only be able to upload a three minute video and then have to make another three minute video. So bear with me if that's all I can do. But anyway, I'm going to let you go for now. Peace out for now. And I'm going to let you know some visions on the next uh, video that the Lord has showed me. Peace out for now. Love you.